Hi everyone, welcome to another crafty video. Today I am showing you how to crochet. It's a fun skill to learn and so versatile as you can create so many things with just a few stitches. For today's video, I'm using the Spin Luxury Ombre yarn in pastel from Craft Label. You'll find the link in the description below. And a 5.5 mm crochet hook. Before starting, I did a swatch just to check the gauge. If you're a total beginner, I would recommend buying a skein of cotton yarn and it's easy to work with and an aluminium hook. Here's a little trick for starting your skein of yarn. Try finding the end of the thread from inside as your skein will not go all over the place or get tangled and is neater that way. Before learning the chain stitch, start with the slip knot. This is how you secure the yarn on the hook. To do so, take the end of the yarn and put it into a new shape, then twist, pull the yarn through the loop, and adjust. Add the little loop onto your hook and you're ready to start working. Hold the crochet hook on your right hand and the working yarn on the other. I'm also holding with two fingers from the left hand the tail. Catch the yarn with your hook and pull it through the loop. So you take the yarn over the hook and pull it through the loop. You kind of rotate the hook while you create the stitches. This is how you create the chain stitch. As you'll work, you'll find the rhythm. Now we're going to work the first row using the single crochet stitch. Insert the hook through the first chain. Grab the yarn and pull it through the chain creating a loop. You should have two stitches or loops on your hook now. Wrap the yarn again around your hook and draw it through both loops. So insert the hook through the chain, pull the yarn through the chain so you'll have two loops, then grab the yarn and draw it through the two loops. This is how you create the single crochet stitch. Continue until you finish the row. Now you've reached the end of your row. Turn your work and get ready to work the next row. I'm going to show you two methods of working it. For the first one, insert the hook through the back of the chain. Pull the yarn, so you'll have two loops. Then draw the yarn through them. So insert the hook through the back of the previous chain. Pull the yarn to create the two loops or stitches, then draw the yarn through them. 
By inserting the hook through the back or the front of the chain, you create a difference between the right side and the wrong side of your work. So now we're working on the wrong side. When you work on the right side, you should insert the hook through the front of the previous chain. When you finish, you will end up having some sort of lines pattern on the wrong side and a nice smooth pattern on the right side. When you reach the end, you turn your work again and start the next row. I'm going to show you the second method of working the rows. This time, instead of inserting the hook through the back or the front of the chain, you insert the hook through the whole stitch from the previous row. So insert the hook through the stitch, pull the yarn to create the two loops or stitches, then draw the yarn through them to make your single crochet stitch. I think this is the easier way to do it as you don't need to think which one is the right side, which one is the wrong side and you end up having two identical sides so it will not matter which side you'll use as your right side. I'm working another row the same way, so you can see the difference between these rows and the previous ones. I don't know how well you can see, but on the previous rows we have this difference between the right side and the wrong side, and the last rows are just the same on both sides. The next stitch I'm showing you is a double crochet. This time, before inserting your hook, you wrap the yarn around your hook, then insert it through the previous row, grab the yarn and pull it through. You now have three loops or stitches on your hook. Next, draw the yarn through the first two loops. Now you'll have two loops remaining, two stitches, then draw the yarn through the remaining uh, stitches. So wrap the yarn around your hook. Insert the hook into the previous row, pull the yarn through to create three stitches, draw the yarn through the first two stitches, 
then draw the yarn again through the remaining two stitches. This is how you create a double crochet stitch. So instead of working two stitches at once, you actually work two stitches twice. This way your stitch is a bit higher than the single crochet stitch. As you can see here, the double crochet is higher than the single crochet. The single and the double crochet stitches are so versatile and they're used in almost all the patterns out there. Next, I'm showing you a super easy project using only these two stitches, so the single crochet and the double crochet. You can make uh, yourself this super cute bracelet using a bit of yarn on the button. This could be a lovely gift as well. Start your project by making a slip knot first. All the crochet projects will start with a slip knot because this is how you secure your yarn to the hook. you need to make a chain or measure your hand to see how long it needs to be. When you finished your chain, you need to work one row. You will work the row in a pattern, just like this. So start with two single crochet stitches. Then make a double crochet stitch. And repeat so one single crochet and another one so you'll have two single crochet stitches then make a double crochet stitch this is a nice way to practice your stitches as well Work all the row like this until you reach the end. So two single crochet stitches, one double crochet, two single, one double.
the bracelet is almost finished all you have to do now is to chain five stitches we'll do like one two three four five then insert the hook into the first stitch pull the yarn through then just pull the loop you created through the last stitch and finish the next step is easy you just need to add a button so you can close the bracelet So that's it everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you try making it yourself don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Thank you everyone for watching, if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again and see you next time, happy crafting!